prayer. We tend to miss our prayers. Let me start from Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad, he is on Mi'raj, one of the most holiest travels for the Prophet. He is going to Mi'raj and he tells Jibra'il, O oh Jibra'il, what is the shining light? And he says, this is masjid kufa He said, I will pause Mi'raj and I will recite two rakat nimas. That's Prophet Muhammad. Now let's... Now let's go to his daughter Fatima Tuzara Salamullah Aleha. Her ribs are damaged. She is bleeding. She cannot move her right hand. But she says, I will finish my prayer on time. Imam Ali has been struck by a sword which was this different narrations they say. Some say it was three months, it was kept in poison, some say six. So we'll just say it was a poisonous sword and he was struck so hard that his head tore into two. But he closed the wound himself and the first thing he did was, he said, Ya Hassan, you lead the prayer, finish the prayer first, then come back to me, then take care of me. Yes. You guys see the importance of prayer? Imam Hassan al Mujtaba has been poisoned. Imam has been poisoned. Blood is coming out of his mouth. Blood is on his chest. Blood is on his beard. But he tells his family, it's time to pray. I am going to finish my prayer on time. Abba Abdullah al Hussein is on the battlefield of Karbala. You can hear the swords, you can hear the spears falling, but Imam sends his messenger to the opposing forces. He sends his message. He said, we will pause. We will pause this battlefield. We are going to pause it and we are going to pray. Yes, you see the importance of prayer. Imam Zainul Abidin. <coughs> Imam Zain Abidin, the chain he was put on, every time he bowed or he sat down, it would hurt his neck, but he never left the prayers. Imam Muhammad Bakr is only five years old. Imam's neck is tied so hard with a rope that he can barely breathe, but he finishes every prayer on time. Imam Jafar is Sadiq, it's his last time. It's his last time he is writing his wills and he is bleeding out of his mouth. But when it's time for prayer, he said, I want to pray on time. Our seventh Imam, Imam Musa Kazim. Babul Hawaij, his prison is either 50 feet or 100 feet below ground. And the prison was constructed in such a way that every time he got up from ruku or sujood, it would damage his body. But he never left the prayer. Our eighth Imam is traveling in the mountains and the weather is so bad he cannot stand straight but when it when it's time to pray he prays on time imam muhammad naqi he has been it's his last time to go it's he's on his last breath but it's time to pray and he says allahu akbar Imam Muhammad Taqi Jawad is the same way. Imam Hassan al Askri's house has been surrounded by the enemies. And Imam knows he will and he might get caught. But Imam says, pause everything, stop everything. It's time to pray. Imam Mahdi Ajjar Allah Farajah al Sharif. Wherever he is, wherever he might be. We all know, we all have this belief that he always does his namaz on time, brothers and 
sisters. So you see the importance of Salat.